Okay, the assembly of the motor, the chassis, and the gearbox is now complete. I did uh, lubricate both ends of the shaft on the motor. Have a new connecting tube here. This is nothing more than a neoprene tube that model airplane users. Uh, it's a fuel tube. It fits perfectly on this two millimeter shaft. And oil also oiled and added uh, gear packing inside the, the gear housing. But we were talking, or I was speaking earlier, about the eccentric crank and the degree that it's set off. So basically, anywhere you have this, this is the main crank pin here that comes out of the main driver. The eccentric crank attaches to that main crank pin. And so no matter where you have the main crank pin, you can honestly say that no matter where it is located, it's at 90 degrees. But what's important is it has to be set at a approximately 15 degree angle off the center of the driver's shaft, which is right here. Again, main crank, eccentric crank, eccentric crank rod, and the linkage. The better you have this set at 15 degrees, you can have it either trailing or following. And I'll notice, you'll notice when I run this that you'll be able to see that I've set this eccentric crank to lead the main driver here. You'll see the center here. But the more you have it set at an equal 15 degrees, the better this is going to move. And we all like moving parts on a steam locomotive. So I'm going to turn it on here. Now you notice that the main axle on the main driver in relation to the eccentric crank end, the eccentric crank always follows or always leads that axle. If I put it in reverse, it will follow. So just the opposite. Now everything is running smoothly and I wanted to mention also that try your best to align your motor shaft and your gear shaft. If this is aligned, you're going to have a lot smoother running locomotive as well. So I'm going to put it back and forward. Now you'll notice the linkage is moving pretty good right here, but the faster you run the locomotive, the faster the linkage is going to turn. I'm going to stop it here a minute. If I were to take and move this eccentric crank to the center of the axle, this would move very little. I'm not going to make that adjustment for you because I've already got it set and it's all running like a fine watch so I'm not going to mess with it. It ain't broken so I ain't going to fix it. But you'll notice here that the smoother the locomotive mechanism, the better closely you have this rate set at a 15 degree off the main axle, the more action you're going to get out of the eccentric crank rod and the linkage. This looks like an 080, but it's the United Atlas Pacific Fast Mail B&O Consolidation. I just don't have the pilot on, the truck ride on. But you see how smooth it is? No shaft wiggle, no gearbox wiggle. Everything nice and smooth, nice and quiet. Other than your narrator. Thank you.